In this video, I'll be taking you through a set of stretching and self-massage exercises involving the foam roller. This is a roller that's six inches by 36 inches. I prefer the firm ones, but you may prefer to start with a soft one and work up to a firm one. If you have any orthopedic limitations like osteoarthritis or osteoporosis, I definitely would recommend starting with a soft roller. If you have osteoporosis of the spine, I would not recommend to not roll up and down along the length of the spine. And also, if you do have any significant orthopedic issues, be sure to follow your healthcare practitioner's advice about what exercises you should and should not do. For our stretches that are passive, we're going to be holding for 30 seconds. Active movement stretches, we'll do 10 repetitions, and we'll self-massage on the roller, then 12 to 15 repetitions. We're going to begin with a stretch for the chest and shoulders, placing the roller behind you. We're going to lean back onto it, and then let's get the elbows to the ground behind. And then slide your body forward to get the stretch in the chest in front of the shoulders. If possible, keep the elbows down and keep the chin a little bit tucked to protect the neck. We could also turn the head a bit from side to side to bring some stretch to the side of the neck. We're holding here for 30 seconds. And now scoot back a little and bring the hands behind the head. And now we're going to be lifting the hips and we're going to walk backwards to roll down to the lowest ribs. Walk forwards to roll up to the top of the shoulder blades. So experiment with different positions. We can lean a little bit to the right and roll a few times on the right. We can lean to the left, roll a few times on the left. If you find any point that feels particularly tight, you can stop there. We can relax a little bit, lean the head back. We can let the hips sink down a bit within your range of comfort. We can also do a little bit of leaning side to side on the point that's feeling tight as well. So just continue with that movement, walking up, walking down, exploring those different areas that feel tight and muscles at the back. Make sure you're breathing deeply, continuously. And remember, any point you can stop and just lean back and relax a bit. And then have a seat, and let's sit up. We're next going to go on to massaging the low back. So let's bring the roller to the back of the sacrum, lie back onto it, and we're coming into kind of a crab walk position on the hands and feet. So we're supported by both the upper and lower extremities where we can lift pressure off the low back as you need. We can lean to the right, we can lean to the left. So we're massaging from the top of the back pelvis or upper sacrum to the low ribs and back down again. If there's a point that feels tight, we can just relax there. Again, we could do a little bit of rocking side to side at the point that feels a little tight. But make sure this is feeling okay to you and put more pressure into the ground through the hands and feet if you need to lift pressure off your low back. and have a seat. Next, we're gonna readjust to sit up on top of the roller in order to massage the hip muscles. So to begin with, let's take the hands on the ground behind the back. You could make fist knuckles down if it's easier on your wrists. If you have difficulty reaching the ground here, you could also put a yoga block under each hand. Start with the right ankle over your left thigh, staying dorsiflex with the foot. Let's start by shifting onto the left hip, and let's massage here, focusing on the gluteus maximus. Again, we could experiment with leaning a little bit more to the outside, a little bit more to the inside. 
if the point's feeling tight, pause there. You can also do a little bit of rocking side to side on a point that feels tight. So good massage here for the gluteus maximus. And the gluteus maximus does attach to the IT band. So for a tight IT band, it's helpful to massage here above that tendon and back in and front, which we'll get later on with the tensor fasciae latte or TFL. Keep the cross the way it is, but then shift over onto your right hip. And here again, we can roll forward and back, focusing a bit more on the piriformis muscle. Again, if there's a point that's tight, we can just pause and relax into that. Those are called pressure points. Just resting with pressure on them may help the muscle fibers to relax. Here again, we could also do a little bit of side-to-side -side rocking at various points as well. Keep exploring where you need that massage the most. With the hands, be sure to put pressure through all the fingertips, and that should help take pressure off the wrists. Let's come back to the middle, uncross, let's sit up and rest the wrists with a few circles, about five times each way. And then we're going to the other side. So next we're going to cross the left ankle over the right thigh, and let's start over this time on the left to be alternating sides. We can lean more to the outside, lean more to the inside, focusing on the piriformis. Remember, if any point's tight, we can rest with pressure there. We can do a little bit of side-to-side -side rocking at a point that's tight. And so come back to the middle, shift over onto the right hip. So we can lean more to the outside, more to the inside, focusing here on the gluteus maximus. Again, if there's a point that's tight, rest with pressure there, or a little bit of side to side rocking. Keep breathing. And come on back to the middle arm cross. Let's have a seat behind the roller. Again, circle the wrists about five times each direction. Shake the hands out. Now we're going on to a hamstring massage. I'll show three different ways to do it. So level one, we could have roller under one leg. The other foot helps to support the body weight as we roll along the hamstring. Or we could do level two with both legs on the roller simultaneous. Or level three, lift one leg up, cross it over for a little bit of extra weight on the leg that's on the roller. So go ahead and begin any of these versions. And notice if you turn the toes out, more massage to the outer hamstrings. Pointing straight up, we get the back center. Turning the toes inward, we get the innermost. Again, if there's a point that's tight, we can do a little bit of side-to-side -side movement. Be sure not to go all the way onto the knee joint so we don't put pressure on the knee ligaments. So stop just a little bit short of the knee joint itself and then roll on up to the buttock region at the bottom of the gluteus maximus and then come on back down almost to the knee. Now, if you've been doing one leg only, Switch to that other leg now. We'll take a little extra time on the hamstring and calves, so in case you're doing each leg separately, there's time to do 12 to 15 on both sides. The 
Again, any point feeling tight, we can do a little bit of some how rocking side to side, turning in and out from a tight point. So go ahead and have a seat. Circle the wrists, shake out. And we're going to be doing the same exact sequence with the calves. So level one, one calf on the roller. Level two, both calves on the roller. Or level three, crossing one leg over, putting more pressure on the leg that's on the roller. So begin that rolling action. We can experiment with turning out, pointing straight up, turning in. Something else we can do on the calves here is rest with pressure on a sensitive point and then do dorsi and plantar flexion of the feet. So experiment with that as well if you like. If you get tired of pulling your weight, you can even just set the hips down and still do that dorsi and plantar flexion of the ankles. So the more we do this, we're going to get stronger in the triceps muscles of the arms and make it easier to support your weight. Now if you've been on one leg only, switch to the other, spending equal time on both legs. This massaging is really good for loosening up the fascia, the connective tissue that covers the muscle. And if our muscles are feeling tight, in some cases it can be this fascia that's tight more than the muscle fibers themselves, and the rolling's helpful for that. This can be done as a warm-up prior to exercise or as a cool down afterwards or any other time during the day. Okay, so go ahead and rest. We'll circle the wrists. Circle the wrists again. And next we're going to be coming to lying lengthwise on the roller. So we'll sit on the end of the roller and we're going to lie back. And make sure that your head is staying on the roller. So if your head's coming off the top, scoot down a little bit. If the tailbone's hanging out the bottom, scoot up a little bit. And just pay attention right now to your alignment. This should be the alignment we have when we're standing tall with good posture. So the sacrum bone against the roller. We're going to slide just one or two fingers between the low back and the roller. We have the thoracic vertebrae between the shoulder blades against the roller. We have the back of the head against the roller with the chin duck, tucked down slightly, but there's a small curve at the back of the neck. So from here, we're gonna go on to a warm up of the puppet arms. So let's reach the arms up. Imagine you have strings tied on your fingertips and the puppets here at the ceiling controlling the strings. Reach up with one arm and lower it down. Reach up with the other arm and lower it down. Feel how the shoulder blade moves away from the midline of the spine as you reach up. And the shoulder blade moves toward midline of the spine as you lower it down. Breathing. We'll do 10 each arm separately, then we'll do 10 of both arms together. Protracting, retracting the shoulder blades alternately. Last time. Now both arms together. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Widen the shoulder blades away from the roller. And then let the inner edges of the shoulder blades come down and touch the roller. Breathing with each movement. One more. Bring the shoulders down, inner edge of the shoulder blades touch the roller, lower hands by the hips. Now we're going to take the arms all the way up overhead and lower back down again. So make sure that you're keeping the low back neutral. So even as the arms reach up, the place where the low ribs meets the spine stays in contact with the roller. Inhaling up, exhaling down.
Now next time we stretch up, we'll stay up for 30 seconds. So keep the arms alongside the ears. Keep your shoulders pulled down away from the ears so the neck is long. And then keep the lowest ribs where they meet the spine pressing into the roller. You may need to pull the abdominals in a little bit to keep the low back neutral. And so we should be feeling some stretch in the upper back and the latissimus dorsi area and in the shoulders. Keep breathing. We might focus this breath a bit more into the rib cage. And then we'll lower the arms and take the fingertips to the floor alongside the hips. Let's begin to do a little bit of rolling side to side getting a little bit of massage for muscles off to the side of the spine. At first, let's keep the front plane of the pelvis parallel to the ground, as if we're not spilling any water from the imaginary goldfish resting on the pelvis. Keep breathing. Now let's take the arms to the side and more of a T-shaped palms up and do a bigger roll. Look away from the direction that your hips are moving. Keep breathing as you're rolling. Rolling from the outside one shoulder blade to the outside the other shoulder blade. Keep your feet very stable and your shins and knees stay stable. So a bigger roll across the back. One more each way. And now keep the arms in the T. So arms will stay in the T, palms up, shoulders roll back and down. And we're focusing on that stretch in the chest and stretch in front of the shoulders, a good stretch for posture here. Just relax and take some deep breaths. And lower the arms down and now let's reach the arms up toward the ceiling bring the elbows by the ribs now take the hands alongside the ears palms up now we'll do the snow angels inhale stretch the arms up alongside the ears exhale bend the elbows back down by the ribs so imagine you're lying in deep snow making angel wing shapes with the arms be sure that the low ribs stay against the roller where they meet the spine. So the low back stay neutral, even if you need to keep the abdominal muscles pulled in and focus the breathing into the rib cage. Inhale up, exhale down. Now next time you stretch up, keep the arms up by the ears. What I like to do here is with one hand, pull the other wrist down a little bit, but make sure that you're keeping those low ribs against the roller, and you're also just staying within your comfortable range of motion of the shoulders. So if you have one hand pulling the other wrist down, switch. Keep breathing, focus that breath into the rib cage right now. And then let's reach the arms up. Now imagine you're holding an invisible volleyball between the hands. Let's move that invisible volleyball from side to side. And with your head turn to follow the invisible volleyball with your eyes. We're getting a little bit of rotational stretch. We're getting massage across the back and practice keeping your balance as you're moving.
one more each way. Back to the middle, relax your arms down. Next, we'll do a couple of neck stretches. Just stay within your comfortable range of motion. If you get at all dizzy doing these, just return the head back to the roller and don't continue with them. So let's lean the head off to the right side, looking toward the ceiling, and just relax the head down, keeping the shoulders pulled away from the ears. So we'll do 30 seconds here. If you feel like you need support, you could use the hand on that side to support the head a bit. Again, if you get dizzy, just come out. Stay within your comfortable range of motion. And return the head to the roller. And then we're going to take the head off to the left side. And here again, if you need support, you could use the hand on that side to support the head. If you'd all get dizzy, just bring the head back on the roller. Just stay within your comfortable range of motion. Looking toward the ceiling as you stretch into the side of the neck, the head off to the left, so stretching the right side. Bring the head back on the roller. Now we're going to continue, this time turn your head to the right as you hang the head off the right side. So keep the shoulders pulled away from the ears. As before, if you need support, you could use that same side hand to support the head. Keep shoulders away from the ears. If you get dizzy, return the head to the roller. Focusing that stretch on the left side of the neck. Bring the head back on the roller, and then last side. So turn the head left, hang the head off the left side. If you need support, use that left hand to support the head. If you get dizzy, come back to the roller. Keep breathing, keep shoulders pulled away from the ears. Bring the head back to the roller. Next, we're going to be doing 10 easy bridges. So have the feet right under your knees, feet and knees width of hip joints. Begin with the posterior pelvic tilt, flattening the low back to the roller. Inhale, roll up to the bridge. Exhale, roll back down, lengthen the spine one vertebra at a time as you return to the roller. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. Slowly roll up, slowly roll down. We're getting some stretch to the hip flexor muscles on the front of the hips as you lift and the lengthening of the spine as you roll down. Just stay within your comfortable range of motion. Keeping the feet and shins and knees very stable. And one more time. And roll down. So bring the elbows back and sit up a bit and slide the roller down until you find the point where the end of the roller is right between the shoulder blades. Now when you get to that point, we're going to take the right hand behind the head, the left arm off to the side, and lean the head back and down to the right. So only within your comfortable range of motion, stretching to the left side of the neck, front of the left shoulder. If you would all get dizzy, then lift the head higher. Some people might be able to take the back of the hand all the way to the ground, but you don't need to do that only if it's comfortable for you and you're not getting dizzy. Feeling the stretch between the shoulder blades where the roller ends, as well as in the side of the neck in front of the chest or shoulder. Use that right hand to lift the head. 
Now we're gonna switch, left hand behind the head, right arm off to the side, palm up. Lean the head back and down to the left. Focus on stretch to the right side of the neck. Right chest and shoulder, upper back between the shoulder blades. Use the hand to lift the head. Now we'll slide off the roller, move the roller out of the way, and we'll lie on the back. Just fully relax. We'll lie on the back for 30 seconds. Focus on deep, full breaths. Focus on the abdomen expanding with the inhale, contracting with the exhale. Observe how your back feels after having been on the roller. So the floor might feel a little soft and even a bit indented like you're lying in the ditch after being on the hard surface of the roller. And then bend the knees, flatten the feet, roll to the side. And so sitting up, let's take the roller behind your back. Sit with the ankles crossed. And now roll the roller up your back, hook the elbows around the roller. Lift the chest, look up slightly, leaning a little bit from side to side. Feeling stretch to the chest, stretch to the front of the shoulders. Doing a little bit of back bending stretch for the middle back. Hold the abdominal muscles in as needed to support the low back though, so the low back doesn't overextend. And release. So now we're going to be turning sideways, and we're going to be getting the outer hip and thigh, and we're going to be getting the latissimus dorsi muscles of the upper back. So let's sit with the roller to your left side to start with. And then we're going to take that left hip on the roller just below the hip joint. And then let's start to roll on down almost to the knee, but not quite to the knee, and come on back up almost to that hip bone. If you prefer to be down on the elbow, that's fine. If you want a more advanced version, we could put both legs together. Here we're massaging the Vastus lateralis, the outermost quadriceps muscle, and also the IT band. If any point's feeling tight, we can just pause there. We can do a little bit of internal external rotation, also on a point that's feeling tight to help that area loosen up. And roll on down. Now, staying on this side, we're going to get the upper back before we do the other leg. So let's line the roller just kind of beneath and behind the armpit. The top hand on the roller, bottom knee a little bit, top leg crossed and back, bottom hand palm up. Now begin rolling here just beneath and behind the armpit. There's not any weight on this arm. If there's a point that's feeling tight, we can pause there and do a few palm up arm sweeps if you like. We could also do a little bit of rolling forward and back on a tight point. Some massaging latissimus dorsi muscle of the upper back. And release your hands, sit up. Now we're going to the other side. So taking the roller outside the right hip, leaning onto the roller just beneath the hip joint. So top leg can cross over, bottom leg stretching out. Roll down almost to the knee, roll up almost to the hip joint. 
Again, we have the option of both legs together. We could pause the point that's tight, do a little bit of internal external rotation. You could also be down on the elbow if you prefer. Look for those tight spots where we can do a little bit of rolling forward and back. And so roll it down. Now we're going on to that with this Miss Dorsey area. So the roller just beneath and behind the armpit. Top hand on the roller, bottom knee a little bent. Top foot flat with the knee bent. And this bottom arm palm up, but not any pressure of the arm on the roller. Rolling up and down. Remember if there's a tight point, we can pause. We can do the palm up arm sweeps. We can do forward and backward rotation at that point. So exploring different areas of that massage. And then go ahead and sit up. So next we're going to be turning face down on the roller to massage some of the hip flexor muscles, such as the tensor fascia latte or TFL. So those muscles right here at the front of the hip joints attach to the IT band. If the IT band is tight, massaging here as well as the gluteus maximus may be helpful. So let's lie face down with the front of the right hip on the roller. So you're on your right elbow and the left hand so this left hip is tilted up about 45 degrees. I like that the toes gripping the floor, and then I'm rolling forward and back. So the toes can help the movement. They can lift the hip a little higher, take it a little lower. So looking for a point that feels tight right there to the front of the hip joint. So it's just a few inches where we're massaging. Now we're going to switch over onto the left side. So bring that left elbow down, right hand under right shoulder, lift that right hip up about 45 degrees, toes gripping. We'll begin rolling forward and back on that left hip. Explore different areas of taking that right hip up or down a little. And then we'll go ahead and move off the roller. We're next going on to the quadriceps. And like the hamstrings and calves, there are several ways to do this. So we could choose to do one leg at a time with the other leg off to the side. Maybe with both elbows down. Or we could choose to have both legs on simultaneous or even lift one leg for stronger effect of the leg that's on the roller. So go ahead and begin moving, whether you're on one leg or both. Explore different angles of turning the toes outwards and knees outward to get the inner quadriceps, pointing knees and toes straight down to get the front center, turning toes and knees inward to get the outer quadriceps. And now if there's a point that's feeling tight, you can pause there and do some flexion and extension of the knees. You can also pause the point that feels tight and do a little bit of side to side rocking as well. Be sure to keep the abdominals pulling in to support the low back so that the low back doesn't have an increased arch. If you've been on one leg, switch to the other leg now.
and lower the knees down. Next, we'll be getting the inner thigh muscles. So take the roller off to the right side. We'll bring the right knee on the roller, lean onto the elbows, grip the floor with your left toes, and roll across right inner thigh. Now, if there's a point that's tight, we can pause there. We could do some extension and flexion of the knee, a little bit of internal external rotation, to explore different areas of movement, getting a good massage to that right inner thigh. And then we'll switch to the left. So now we'll bring the left knee on the roller, rolling from the groin to knee and back. Again, if there's a point feeling tight, we can pause and do some extension and flexion of the knee or a little internal external rotation. Keep breathing. Pause. We'll take the roller out front and do a back extension. So let's lie face down with the wrists on the roller, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, turn the palms up and thumbs out, look forward, exhale lower. We'll do this 10 times, then we'll stay up. Bring some stretch into the abdominals. Keep the neck long, shoulders relaxed. Pull the abdominals in as needed to support the low back. Next time you're up, stay up. Turn hands, palms up, shoulders relaxed. We can also look side to side, stretching the neck. Pull the abdominals in a bit like lifting the navel off the floor if your low back needs support. Keep breathing. And lower down. Let's bring the roller under the forehead. Turn the legs out. We'll relax here. Focus on deep, full breaths. The abdomen presses the floor with every inhale. Now bring the legs closer, hands on the shoulders, help you push up, walk the knees forward. Sit back, hips to heels, stretch the arms forward, relax the head down for the extended child's pose. Now if you need to widen the knees, that's okay. The roller rolls forward under the wrists as the hips sink back and down. Feel like you're slightly turning the insides of the elbows to face upwards. And sit up. Now walk your hands to the right side of the roller, turn the left hand thumb up, roll forward, bring the left ear against the left upper arm. Focus in the stretch on the left upper back and shoulder. Keep breathing here. Lift up, now walk the hands over to the left. 
This time turn the right hand thumb up, roll forward, right ear against right upper arm, stretching right shoulder, right side of the upper back. And then we'll go ahead and sit up. So that's the conclusion of the stretching and self-massage movements with the roller. You don't necessarily have to do the whole routine. You can also pick and choose the exercises you feel like you need to do each day. If you have any questions, you may leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, then please hit like and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, then please click the alarm bell symbol next to the subscribe button. Thank you.